This is the invisible selfie stick from Insta360. Now I know what you're thinking, it's not invisible. Well of course it isn't, that would be completely impractical. I mean, you'd never know where it was. The first time you put it down you'd be like, I've lost my invisible selfie stick. Well what does it look like? I don't know, it's invisible. It just wouldn't work. So how, in footage where I'm clearly holding the selfie stick in front of me like this, does it come out looking like this? Well, I'm about to demonstrate using some highly professional graphics that I did in Procreate. The dual cameras on this Insta360 ONE X2 capture images from around a field of view of around 190 degrees. There's those graphics we mentioned earlier. Now obviously this creates a crossover, and it's in this crossover that the magic happens. When these two images are combined together in the software, it creates what's known as a stitch line. Now the stitch line is the area directly above, below and to the side of the camera. And any object that appears in this stitch line, providing it doesn't exceed the width of the camera, will be completely invisible in the processed footage. And that's why, when I'm holding the selfie stick out like this, in the final footage, it ends up looking like this. And that's it. Unfortunately, it's not magic. Like almost everything that's cool and awesome, it's a combination of technology and creativity. I hope this video has put to rest any concerns you may have had about filmmakers running around using cloaking technology or anything like that. We're not. It's just trickery. Feel free to use the comments section to ask me anything you want about invisibility or indeed any other superpower. And of course, if you found this video useful, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Okay, I'm actually going to turn invisible using real magic now. Check this out.